We have made a little progress on the machine, but we have no choice but to keep going. The restriction on our city has taken its toll. Everyone is gone, except for the three of us. As to where they went, no one knows, they vanished without a trace. The reconstruction of the city was practically complete, but without the finishing touches, it feels like a hollow shell. Nothing more than a ghost town. Currently, I'm on a walk for more parts. Gears, tools, or anything else to aid us in the restoration of this previously bright and shining city. That's all. For now. Uh, another log today, Cole? I don't get it. What is it even for? Ah, shut up. I just want to keep track of what we're doing in this wreck of a city. Wreck? I don't see any wreck. What I see is my beautiful city. Oh, so now it's yours for the taking, eh? You know, the name King Denzel the First doesn't sound too bad, huh? We could go back to the times when kings and queens are relevant. The Kingdom of Marina. You can see it already. Yeah, well, you need people for a kingdom, and that's... Something we like. Yeah, yeah, I know. I feel something leaving us out there. I didn't even get a good vibe from my parents. They thought we were all friends, but I guess not. And we're stuck here with two guys from the other branch who stick in the corner. They don't even know what we're worth, might I add. If we go and prevent their disappearance, I'm not sure they aren't just out on a citywide vacation. Come on, Denzel. We both know there's no such thing as a citywide vacation. Our population reaches over 900,000 people. They can't just all up and leave on vacation. Yeah, but it's a lot better since they're guys. I don't want to think of the other possibilities. Well, either way, once we get the time machine working, we'll figure it out and fix it. Start. I didn't like the idea of working with guys from the other series branches. But you know, it is because of that joint project that we are still here, still working on that joint project. A bit convenient that we were already working on the time machine while, you know, it happened. Pleased to be an introvert, I guess. Still can't handle John that well these days. Something about those guys could rebranch. Sheet of metal, full bucket of bolts, a sky driver, and a potato? Thanks. I was starving. Do we still even need parts? I thought we were down to just the coating at this point. What's the rest for? Denzel, Denzel, you asked too many questions. Live in the now so you can wake up tomorrow. Uh, right. Excuse the interruption, but I have detected an unknown visitor in the vicinity. Is it a citizen? Executing Marina citizen matching. No match found. Visitor is not Marina citizen. Perhaps they too are curious in what has happened? They must be from a nearby city. Perhaps. But tourism of any sort has been cut off when the city was destroyed. They might be curious on how the restoration is coming along after not hearing anything after so long. We should go meet up with them. Emma, do you have any video of them that we can see? Unfortunately, video display is not fully functional at this time. But you should be able to find him or her near the bridge by Marina University. Uh, the security cameras work. But no one but Emma actually see anything. Again with the questions, Denzel. Why have Stop we being not so curious of these things. Let's get going. I want to talk to them before they leave. 
It's gonna be a while before they even leave. It's a pretty big city. Just wait here as usual. The outside sucks anyway. At least I can hang out with you, Emma. Aren't you excited to get back to work? I do not express the human emotion of excitement, but if it makes you happy, I will say yes. This is why you're my favorite girl. Marina University, huh? That's not too far from here. It's also a weird way to come into the city from. The only entrance to the city by there is the bridge, and it's been broken since the destruction of the city. Ah, so you think the visitor is suspicious. I don't want to say it with certainty, but we can't throw that possibility away. Weird things have happened in this city. Should we jump them and force answers? Uh, let's follow them. Innocent until proven guilty, way of thinking. Don't see. Shh. Over there, on the bridge. Ah, uh, now I see them. They look really shady. I think they're definitely guilty. Let's jump them. No, you idiot. What if it's an old lady or something? Looks can be deceiving. Exactly. She could be an old lady on the outside, but the bloody knife in her pocket would beg to differ. What knife? I don't see any knife. Looks can be deceiving. Oh, shut up. Let's go talk to them first. Uh, hello? Definitely suspicious. We should have jumped them. We probably spooked them. Ah, uh, yes. Your intimidating hello sent chills down my spine. I nearly pooped myself. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait up! Hey, hey, relax. We aren't trying to kill you. We just wanted to talk. Man, you shouldn't have been here. Excuse me? I would be gone when I had eyes. What are you talking? I knew we should have jumped them. You okay? That guy. He said something weird. Was he trying to sell you OxyClean and resort to murder when you realized it was a scam to silence you? What? No. He said we shouldn't be here, and that someone told him that everyone would be gone when he arrived. That sounds like some shady conspiracy stuff. You think someone was behind the disappearance of the people? I don't know. Maybe. It's definitely a possibility. It makes more sense to say someone's behind it than to say everyone just up and left. Either way, we'll find out more when we go back to where it all started. But if someone was behind this, when did it really start? Let's just go back to before everyone disappeared and start from there. Besides, they could have been talking about something different entirely. We just took it out of context. I guess. Let's head back for now and tell John about it. Hey. Doubt he cares, to be honest. What? Um, nothing. 